And now we have the complete gradient ascent algorithm for logistic regression. Extremely simple, um, extremely useful, and um, very cool. So we're going to start from some point, say, W0, and we're just going to follow the gradient here until we get to the optimum here, which we're going to be our estimate W hat, and we're going to stop when the norm of the gradient is sufficiently small with respect to our tolerance parameter epsilon, just like we discussed in the regression case. And every time we take an iteration, we go uh, feature by feature or coefficient by coefficient, compute that partial derivative with respect to coefficient j, so uh, what is the derivative with respect to that, for that coefficient, and then we just update the coefficient uh, wj at t plus 1 to be wj at t plus the step size times this derivative that we just computed. So this is notation for the derivative L at t with respect to the parameter wj. And at the core of the derivative, the only little computation that we have to do is this one over here, which is computing the probability that the data point has value plus 1 with the parameters wt. So what's that equal to? Well, this is just exactly the logistic regression model. So I'm going to do a change of colors transformation here and just do this in blue so it'll stand out. Uh, this last little bit is just 1 over 1 plus e to the minus w, which in, is whatever it is at iteration t, transpose um, h of xi. So I just compute that prediction, whatever my model thinks, I subtract to the indicators, this is a positive example, multiply by the uh, feature value, and there you go, some of the data points. Simple algorithm, um, really useful, really, really useful.